What is going on, my family? Early morning. Uh, I just got my doorbell ring, and this owner operator with the Mercedes Sprino van, he delivered my pallet jack. The reason today is that I've been looking for pallet jack everywhere here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I couldn't find a single pallet jack in any store. So if you guys are out there, you're waiting for your authority to come in or whatever, I guess it's time for you to get the pallet jack and keep it in your garage, right? So I ended up going on Amazon and I ordered a pallet jack. So less than two days, I got it delivered here. But Amazon told me it was going to be here June 16, between June 16 and June 26. I was like, man, I might, I might end up going on the road without a pallet jack. I was kind of a little stressed out about it because you, you don't really need it that much. But sometimes you get a load that requires a lift kit and a pallet jack. So that's something like that I was worrying about. But if you have a truck that don't have a lift kit, do not go buy yourself a pallet jack. Once again, you have a truck that don't have a lift kit, don't buy a pallet jack, okay? Because you're not going to need it. You know what I'm saying? They use your lift kit, the pallet jack, put the load on it and take it down. So if you don't have a lift kit, don't worry about it. So I got the pallet jack and the owner operator who actually delivered that uh, product this morning, he told me they have a crown, you know, the the, the, the pallet jack, the brand is crown, C-R-O-W-M. He told me they have a location right here in Ghana, Ghana, North Carolina. So if you are there looking for a pallet jack and you cannot find one anywhere, Look, uh, search for a crown, crown location near you or something and go see if you can find or just order that on Amazon. On Amazon, it's a little expensive because they, they include that with things like shipping and stuff like that. You know, some people say they buy a pallet jack for $250, uh, maybe less than that. But it's like a local brand though. This, the crown, the, you know, crown has been in the, in the, in the, in the business for a long time. Those are companies that produce like, Falkley and all the different stuff, electric Falkley, electric pallet jack. So it's a big company, you know what I mean? So that product is not cheap. The hydraulics not going to go bad. So I have the pallet jack in the garage. Let's go ahead and do some unboxing real quick. And I'm going to take it to the truck and uh, put it on the truck and wait to my ELD device. That's the number one thing that I had left now to hit the road, guys. So I can't wait to, to hit the road because I'm home, man. It's like... When I'm on the road, though, I don't, I don't, I do a lot of drinking water and I don't eat much, so I kind of lose a little bit of weight. When I'm home, man, I gotta count breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and and, and it's crazy, though. So I can't wait to be on the road. I mean, that's the fun. It's like when I'm on the road, I have more time to make videos, talk to you guys, compared to when I'm home. Because when I'm home, family is, you know, just so hard to control all of that. You know what I'm saying? But I love you guys. Let's do that quick unboxing, a little quick. And once again, take the pallet jack on the truck. So let's go ahead and unbox that little quick. You guys see, right? It's a, a crown, C R O W N crown. It's a pretty heavy duty pallet jack. I like the wheel, though. You know, like I said, I've been using the crown product in most of the major manufacturers. It's pretty good. So I don't know. I hope it's not too wide and. You know some of the pallets over there, but I don't worry about that because I'm not the one who do the unloading anyway. So let's go ahead and you know. So I think you know they don't have a forklift, they don't have shipping dock. So what they do is they use your they use your your lift gear and to take it out. Yeah, yeah they use your lift gear to. I think it's super nice. I like it. Okay, what is that, man? Come on. The boy trying to get you out of here. So, yeah. They use your lift gear and your pallet jack. So, most of the time, those kind of low, the broker will pay you a little extra for, for using your pallet jack and your lift gear, right? So, that's the good thing. It's good to have a lift gear. And a pallet jack because you know you can negotiate a price with a broker. Hey, you know how much did I get paid? Broker knows that anyway, so I'm gonna take that little. I don't know what it's at. So yeah, this is it. It's it's, it's roaring already though. It's roaring, man. You see that? It's roaring. I think it's roaring. And one to think about this pallet jack. The, the hydraulics not going to go bad quick though. You know. You know it's really nice though. You know. Really, really good. I like it. So yeah, I'm in the garage and it comes with an owner menu on it. You know, 
one time I'm gonna knee. I've been using paddle jack, man. You know, pretty cool. So release the handle. You see that? And then when you release that, before you pump it, you want to push this all the way down. See that? Then you'll be able to pump it. If this is not all the way down, you won't be able to pump it. And this is release that. And then we'll stay right here. Then you push it down in order to pump that. So yeah, uh, oh, they got my name on the Emmanuel. Check it out. You see that? Amazon, they love me, man. You know? They got your boy name on it. So let's see what we can do here real quick. Let's rip out there. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what else we need to know about uh, a paddle jack. Yeah. Uh, it says something about a register, a warranty, whatever. Did I have time to register a paddle jack? I don't think so, right? Yeah, so, yeah, man. The, the, let's see what they have the weight capacity. I want to be able to see the weight capacity. It says something about 5,000 pounds in the description, but it's supposed to be on it, right? Like, yeah, made in China. All right, so, you guys see the, oh, the actually it's right there. Yeah, it said 5,000 pound weight capacity right there. You know, 2,300 kilogram. That's cool, right? 5,000 pound weight capacity. Like I said, since I've been doing this whole bar trucking thing, I honestly never get to to use my pallet jack like that. So I don't see any reason to worry about the weight capacity. The only thing I'm interested in is that this pallet jack is going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? My garage is pretty messy, man. I I just did a couple of service on my Honda. I did an oil change and all the stuff like that. So everything is kind of spread out. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a look on the knee. As you guys see, uh, I have it flip upside down. I like the wheel though. The, it's like heavy duty, really nice looking. And yeah, and this the uh, front wheel. And I have that little one there. I don't know what's that for. It's all good. You know? Really nice pilot jack. Heavy duty is gonna last for a long, long, long time. Now even a $250 pilot jack would still last for a long time. Especially when it comes to, you know, doing box truck. Uh, the reason to that is that box truck, you're not gonna use a pilot jack all the time. So within three weeks, you can use pilot jack maybe two, three times. So it's not like in a factory that people are constantly moving stuff left and right, pumping stuff. That's the reason the company like to go with the crown because they use the pallet jack non-stop 24-7, seven days a week or sometimes six days a week. So they have to go with something high quality, right? Uh, if you take the cheap one, it's good for buying truck once again. But as a manufacturer, you take the cheap one, uh, maybe a distribution center, you take the cheap one, the hydraulic gonna go bad pretty quick. This is the hydraulic right here. That's the thing that lift, that do the lifting. So if that go bad, you might have to replace it or maybe just put some hydraulic fluid or something. I don't know, all right? So yeah, man, I like it. And once again, you guys wanna check out your local Crown, Crown Distribution Center or any store that near you, you'll be able to see one because it's kind of getting hard to find a paddy jack right now, as we speak. Yep, I have the paddy jack on the lift gate. I'm about to load out on the truck. <laughs> My wife wasn't home, so I can use the Toyota Highlander. So what I did was, uh, I kind of like laid down the seat. There's a big gap in the middle there that I have access to the trunk. And uh, yeah, so, I put the paddle jack in. It fit pretty good though. And I, that's why it's good to get a Honda, man. Honda, there's a lot of room. So I'm taking this bad boy up. Uh, there's a bunny right here to take this thing up. Yep. Alrighty. Now we got it up. Yeah, boy. Bye. 
bad boys. Ready for business. Bad boys ready for business. That's a hustle, man. So. Oh, stick it all the way here. Yep, so. I strap it. Paddle jack is on the truck, guys. Yeah, paddle jack is on the truck. It's gonna, it's gonna remind me to uh, be on the road, though. This is exactly how to do it. So, man, you know, I went to get some strap. I mean, everything is kind of running low on stock. I went to get some strap. If you guys follow the channel, my strap is never this color, right? But don't get me wrong. The, this is like way expensive than the other type of strap. The reason today, I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's 20, 20 inch or whatever. It's, it's longer than the, than the gray strap. So this one is like 13 or $14 a piece. But the gray strap is like $10 a piece, right? That's what they told me. But because the gray strap been sitting there for a long time, everybody's going after the, the blue strap, my, my bad. The blue strap been sitting there for a long time. Everybody going after the gray strap, right? So because of that, the blue strap was on sale. So I got the blue strap for $8, $8 a piece. Can you, can you believe it? But it's super long though. Super, super long, man, to be honest with you. It's, it's, it's way more than what you need for the box truck. I think it's kind of better for people that are doing hot shot or semi, like the flatbed thing. Yeah, that's kind of like that because it's super long. But uh, he told me if it's too long, you can cut whatever you don't need. Just cut it so you don't have a bunch of strap dragging all over the place. I'm just going to leave it like that because you never know. You know what I'm saying? If I, because I'm going to move up to a hot shot in the future. Uh, just because of those, uh, no, because of those speaker truck, right? I want to move up to hot shot and I can use that strap on the, on the, how you call that, on the hot shot. Then I will replace that. Because right now, like I said earlier, everything's been sold out, sold out for some reason. So if you guys want to go get a pallet jack, it's time to check out on Amazon or maybe uh, just check it out right now. Like before you even go get a truck, try to get your pallet jack and, and keep it in your garage because things are get being sold out, man, to be honest with you. All right, that's your boy. Uh, my wife was like, oh, okay, if, if you want to wait, let me get home so we can put it in the, in the truck, in a SUV or whatever, the Toyota, then I help you. I said, baby, let it go. I take care of it. That's what it called man. A man, don't rely too much on your lady to help you on everything, right? So I lift 150 pounds. It's actually 150 pounds, though, that pallet jack. I lift it and put it in my uh, Honda Accord. So you guys see it. So I drop it in my Honda Accord, man, and there we go. I got it on the truck. So I got it in the truck and everything's good. Uh, I thank God, man. I will see you guys in the next video, though. Thank you for hanging around. Uh, man, this is a blessing to have people that you guys interested in what I have to say out here. Because it was like, okay, people really love your African boy. What do that have to say? What's so special about me? I don't know. But you guys tell me. But you guys are my family. I love you, okay? Um, if any of you guys who have my numbers, whatever, feel free to call me anytime. There's no time limit for that. Call me, ask me questions, because I want to make sure you guys have the correct information so you don't have to go on YouTube searching for a bunch of information out there, get yourself confused and stuff like that, all right? So ask me. If I don't know everything, I will tell you. I will come back to the answer. I will do some more research and then give it to you later so you don't have to do that extra headache. That's, why, that's what I'm here for, to give you guys the sincere information. Peace and love, man.